Hi, welcome to Chemistry Unit 3. This is 3.1 on chemical bonds. This video will cover some aspects of why atoms combine, characteristics of compounds, review of valence electrons and dot diagrams, the addition of oxidation numbers, and the types of bonds. So why do atoms combine? Most of the matter around you is in the form of compounds. The properties of a compound are different from the properties of the elements that make up the compound. A com chemical bond is a force that holds atoms together in a compound. Chemical bonds form when atoms lose, gain, and share electrons. So first, let's review symbols. You've already memorized 39 of them. H, O, N, N, A, etc. These are symbols for elements. Now we're going to learn about formulas. Formulas are putting those elements together, like H2O and CO2. The numbers in those formulas show the number of atoms combined, and they're called the subscripts, like the 2 in H2O. And then we get into the ratios. How many atoms of each element make up a compound? The ratio of H2O is 2 to 1, while the ratio of CO2 is 1 to 2. The valence electrons are the number of electrons in the outer energy shell, but they're the ones involved in bonding. They're loosely associated with the group number and should already be on your periodic table. Dot diagrams show the valence electrons with the symbol. Oxidation numbers, this is new. You're going to want your periodic table. The number of electrons that an element would like to gain or lose to complete its outer valence shell is known as the oxidation number. All elements and compounds want to have a complete outer shell. And eight electrons, called an octet, completes any outer shell. They come from the valence electrons. So right now on your periodic table, you have the group numbers and the period numbers. Above the group numbers, you've written the valence numbers and those are circled. Above those, you're going to write the oxidation numbers. The oxidation of one, group 1 is 1 positive. Group 2 is 2 positive. Groups 3 through 12 have a positive Rn oxidation. Group 13 is 3 positive. 14 is 4 plus or minus. 15 is 3 negative, 16 is 2 negative, 17 is 1 negative, and 18 is 0. Be sure those oxidation numbers are added to your periodic table. From the valence, a valence of 1 through 3 want to lose their electrons to become stable. That's why they're positive. A valence of 5 through 7 want to gain their electrons to become stable. That's why they are negative. A valence of 4 can go either way. It's just as easy to give 4 away as it is to get 4. So hydrogen, lithium, sodium, they all have oxidations of 1 positive because they have one extra electron in their outer valence shell that they would like to give away in order to be stable. While at the same time, fluorine, chlorine, and bromine have oxidation numbers of one negative because they have one empty seat in their valence shell and they would like to gain that in order to become stable. On your periodic table, let's also add the border. The border separates things. It, so draw a horizontal line between elements 5 and 13 vertical between 13 and 14, horizontal between 14 and 32, vertical between 32 and 33, horizontal between 33 and 51, vertical between 51 and 52, horizontal between 52 and 84, 
and vertical between 84 and 85. Everything to the right of those stairs, including hydrogen, is considered non-metal for bonding purposes. Everything to the left of this is considered metal for bonding purposes. Now well, let's look at the types of bonds. You have two primary types of bonds, ionic, where the electrons are lost and gained between atoms, occurs between a metal and a non-metal, and will use those oxidation numbers. Then you have covalent bonds. Covalent bonds are where the electrons are shared between the atoms. They occur between two non-metals and you, in this class, have to be given the number of each element to use. For bonding purposes, again, elements to the right of the stairs are considered non-metal, while elements to the left are considered metal. So let's look in detail at the types of bonds. There are actually four different ionic bonds that are different but the same. You have perfect ionic bonds where the oxidations cancel out and you have no subscripts left. You have crisscross ionic bonds where the oxidation numbers crisscross to become the subscripts, polyatomics, and transitions. And then you have covalents. Perfect ionic compounds are things like sodium and chlorine. Sodium has an oxidation of one positive, chlorine has an oxidation of one negative, and when they combine, you simply write NaCl. Notice there's no spaces. Potassium and bromine. Potassium has an oxidation of one positive. Bromine has an oxidation of one negative. They combine to be KBr. Magnesium and oxygen. Magnesium is two positive. Oxygen is two negative. They combine to make MgO. Calcium and sulfur. Calcium is a two positive, sulfur is a two negative. They combine to make CAS. Hydrogen and oxygen, however. Hydrogen has an oxidation of one positive. Oxygen has an oxidation of two negative. So in this ionic, they have to crisscross. The two from oxygen comes down to be with hydrogen. The one from hydrogen comes down to be with oxygen, and you're left with H2O. Two hydrogen atoms must be used to combine with one oxygen. Calcium and chlorine. Calcium is a two positive, chlorine is a one negative. The two goes down to be with chlorine, the one goes down to be with calcium, leaving you CaCl2. One calcium combines with two chlorine. Things to notice. In the final answer, if the subscripts match, we leave them off. If you keep subscripts, such as Mg2O2, that's known as a molecular formula. But if you take them off, you've written the empirical formula. The positive oxidation always comes first and pay very close attention to capital and lowercase and the placement of subscripts. Also notice that no subscripts have signs. They're not positive or negative. They simply indicate the number of atoms necessary. Finally, let's look at examples of covalence. If I asked you to combine one carbon and one oxygen, you would write CO, capital C, capital O. However, one carbon and two oxygen is written CO2. One phosphorus and three chlorine would be PCL3. Thanks for watching.